Hello everybody, and welcome back to the King Fox channel. My name is Matt Conniger, and I'm building a Kit Fox Model 7 STI. In today's episode, we're going to be installing the four rudder cable pulleys that go just behind the seat compartment in the fuselage. And uh, it's going to be a really exciting video and a little bit shorter. So as usual, there's going to be a few hiccups along the way. Bear with me as we dive into the video and get this step checked off. And I'm going to be installing these four rudder cable pulleys, and I'll be using the hardware shown. Cotter pins are going to be installed as anti-derail devices once the rudder cables are installed. So I think right now they're just going to be placeholders. As the book says, the anti-derail devices are very important as they will keep the rudder cables from jumping out of the pulley groove if the cable should become slack for any reason. Failure to install the cotter pins may allow the cables to leave the pulley groove, resulting in the loss of rudder and or tailwheel control. Kind of an important thing. So here we go. Our instructions, got our pulleys, and our hardware. Those are some pretty big nuts and bolts, so I'll get some bigger wrenches. We're looking like a half inch, maybe. And we'll need the torque wrench. I'm pretty sure I've reamed these holes already, but I'm not seeing any signs of metal across them, so I'm going to grab the reamer one more time. I think it's the 0.25 or maybe the 0.375, perhaps. No, nope, that's way too big. The 25 is too small. So the 0.3125 looks like of course, it's the last one, so it's going to be the right one. Yeah, they have been reamed. This doesn't look like it. Okay, well, let me check the other side just before I put a tool away and have to get it out again. Definitely been reamed. Okay, good. All right, all the bolts go from the inside towards the outside of the fuselage. Of course, it doesn't look like I can put that in without taking this off, unless I can adjust that. It's good I like taking things apart again. And I'll probably have to do the same thing here. Before I give that too much English, I'm going to quickly go back in the manual and turn to the page where I was putting those in and make sure that it doesn't re require torque at this moment. But I think it's going to be a final item as you go through and adjust the rigging, but I want to double check. Okay, looking back at page 28 and 29, I'm seeing the, the push-pull tubes going in, and it looks to me like everything is hand tight for now. As it says, all nuts finger tight until rigging is accomplished. So that answers that question. All right, each one of these gets a washer. That's great. And a nut. And these nuts do have a nylon insert in them, and I'm still torquing them. Okay, now I've got to take this guy off so I can get that bolt in. Can't get on either side of that. 
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. things are so much fun there's no awkward positions you're ever in I'll have to verify. That's the way I took it out, because I don't remember. It is inboard to outboard, thank heavens. I hope everybody is having a good, good time as I am. A little laughing. Just about there. Yeah. Now let's torque those to 60 to 85 inch pounds. Say, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. As I see in the instructions that I'm supposed to have a washer on this side also. So good news is, is I'll get to take those two things apart again. Hell yeah. Attention to so many details. Can I get that out? Uh -huh. Maybe, maybe I can get this in without taking that off again. That would be awesome. Oh yeah, that felt good. Unfortunately, I don't think with that other side, I'm gonna be so lucky. Seventy. 
seventy. Seventy. All right, and they spin freely. That's good. Awesome. 